So now we're going to show you how to install the glass break detector, the wireless glass break. So once you open it up here at the end, you'll see the battery is already installed and you will pull this uh, battery dividing tape so that way its contact can be made. I'm going to leave it intact right now. We're just going to show you how to program it. And we're going to program this a lot like we programmed the motion detector. Here's our serial number. We're just concerned with the seven digits. We do not worry about the sensors on the dip switches. This device will work perfectly when installed correctly. So we don't need to worry about any of these dip switch settings. Here we have the serial number. So we're going to go into our zones. We're going to add a zone, which I want to be here on zone number 8. I'm going to hit edit. Now you could hit add new and it will automatically put it in uh, synchronous order, but I wanted it on a particular zone. Here we have the zero, serial number, and there we want the serial number. 0613156. Just confirming the number, and I hit done. It is loop 1, that is correct. The zone description on this one is going to be uh, glass break, so I'm going to type in G. Gallery glass. There we go. And I'm going to hit. Big break. That's a glass break. Device type. Now you can set this up like a door. You can set it up as a window, which means instant. There is no delay. Door does have an entry and exit delay. Or you can set it up as a motion sensor. I like to set these up as motion sensors depending upon where they're located. Where I'm locating this is near where we watch TV in the den. Sounds, if I arm this up at night and we decide to watch a movie, certain sounds can activate this alarm. Or if you install it near a kitchen, you drop a plate, you drop a glass, you've just simulated glass break detecting, or actually caused glass break detecting, which this will set off. So, I like to put this into motion sensor, which means that it is going to be off when in stay mode and I can tell it to arm up at night in night mode. So we have it as an interior follower. It is reporting uh, uh, to the alarm central station. Chime is disabled. It is supervised. I want it to report the condition of the battery. And again, if I wanted to make sure that when we're all gone to bed, there is no sound going on, no cleaning dishes or TV or anything like that, I will arm that in night mode, yes. But I'm going to leave that off for right now. This is how you enter into programming your wireless glass break detector.